Hello and welcome to Nurturing Faith. Today I want to talk to you about how God's love lasts forever. And I thought what better place to talk to you about that than at the crossroads where we have the parking lot, I have McNaughton Hall behind me, the street is in front of me, and all of God's creation and nature just surrounds me. And so for me, this is like a happy, beautiful place. The wind is blowing, there's a nice breeze, the sun is setting, so I hope my eyes aren't squint, squinting up too much. So please, listen, as I read a poem for our opening, where we'll start. As far as I can see, God is there. As high as I can stretch, God is there. As low as I can go, God is here and there. God says, reach out in love. I will share love with you. Yes, friends, God's love is forever. And our lesson today is based on Psalm 107. So that's Psalm number 107, verses 1 to 3 and verses 17 to 22. Now, you can help me out in this lesson if you would. I wrote a phrase here that we are going to repeat throughout. So I will do the leader's part and then you would help me with a response. And it goes like this. Oh, give thanks to God for God is good. God's love lasts forever. So let's repeat that one more time. Oh, give thanks to God for God is good. God's love lasts forever. So here now, this short little, actually we could say it's a responsible, a uh, psalm response or responsible, responsible psalm. Wow, that was a mouthful. I'm not quite sure I said it correctly. But in other words, it's a psalm for which there is a response and you will be saying the response. And I will be the particular leader for this. So listen now to God's love lasts forever. Now the Hebrew people, sometimes they live through difficult times like we are today, this pandemic and we've been on lockdown, but now it seems like we're getting a little closer to the end. So these are difficult times for us. And during those difficult times, the Hebrew people would sing songs like the Psalm number 107, which you can find in your Bible book to help them remember that God's love was always with them. So, oh, give thanks to God, for God is good. God's love lasts forever. Now, every year as Passover would approach, the people of God remembered when their ancestors, that means ancestors, the people who came before them, who may now no longer be alive and with them, but they still remember them because stories were shared down from during, in the family. So it was their great, great grandfathers and their great, great grandmothers were slaves in Egypt. And they told the story of how God took them out of Egypt and provided for them. That means took care of them as they were on this long journey to find a new home. So we might remember that story from the book of Exodus when they left Egypt and were returning to their homeland. So they came from the north and the south, from the east and the west, and God saved us all from our distress. God reached out with loving hands and brought us home from every land. And oh, let us give thanks to God, for God is good and God's love lasts forever. Now, sometimes the people would tell stories about times when they had been very sick and they had prayed to God. And when they were sick and feeling bad, our bodies were aching and oh, we felt so very sad. 
We called aloud, we go, God, are you there? And God reached out with love and care. Oh, give thanks to God, for God is good and God's love lasts forever. Now, sometimes the people they remembered when they had made mistakes and they had forgotten how to follow in God's loving ways. You know, sometimes we forget to be nice to our friends. Sometimes we snatch toys. Sometimes we don't say please and thank you. It was that kind of thing. You know, sometimes they just forgot how to live in God's loving ways. And they wondered if God would still love them. Well, when we forget God's loving ways, we know that God's love can come and hold us tight and make sure that things turn out all right. So we give thanks to God for God is good and God's love lasts forever. Now the people knew that no matter what happened, God would always keep on loving them. So no matter what, no matter where, we always know that God's love is there. We'll tell the world what God has done and share God's love with everyone. This is important, friends. I, I, I want you to hear this phrase again. No matter what, no matter where, we always know God's love is there. It's right here. It's ours. And we'll tell the world what God has done and share God's love with everyone. Oh, give thanks to God for God is good. God's love lasts forever, forever, always ours. In closing, let us sing a little song that we learned last time we gathered together. And it goes to the tune of Are You Sleeping? And it goes like this. I'll sing it through once and then next time I want you to join me. May God bless you. May God bless you. Keep you safe. Keep you safe. May God's love surround you. May God's love surround you. Go in peace, go in peace. May God bless you, may God bless you. Keep you safe, keep you safe. May God's love surround you, may God's love surround you. Go in peace, go in peace. Remember, God's love lasts forever. Amen.